Would you like to see how I'm using a Facebook Messenger bot to completely automate my customer research process from beginning to end? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you the exact strategy that's helped me go from several days of doing not so fun work to getting it done in just a few minutes. And at the end, how you can also get your hands on this amazing chat bot. What's going on guys? It is Luis Alvarado here. And if you are new to this channel first, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we're all about helping you build and grow an automated online business so that you can create passive income and become financial independent. Now, when it comes to customer research, I used to do this back in college every single day by literally being on campus and starting up conversations with complete strangers. I would go up to them and be like, hey, can I have a few minutes of your time, please? I just want to ask a few questions regarding a project that I'm working on. And to my surprise, all these people would say, yeah, sure, no problem. You know, every now and then some people would be in a hurry, but for the most part, people would be super happy to help me out. Now you can probably spot the problem already because this process was not scalable if I have to literally go and talk to people one-on-one -on -one every single day. But thankfully for us, we have the internet. With the internet, we're able to reach so many people at once. With it, we have so much reach that I can take a process that you take me literally several days, sometimes even over a month to get done. In just a few minutes, I could get amazing customer research under my belt. So for those of you guys who have an audience already and are looking to drive more sales for your business or even generate more leads and learn how to actually talk to the people that you're serving, well, this process is going to be a mind blower. So by using this exact strategy, it's not only gonna save you a lot of time, but you're gonna see a dramatic increase in sales because you're gonna know exactly what it is that your customers want. So. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on my computer and walk you through this entire process. So now that I'm on my computer, I've actually already pulled up the Messenger uh, chatbot flow. And as you can see, um, the flow is quite extensive, but everything in here is strategically placed to work in a variety of niches, okay? So I've tested this over different businesses across a bunch of different industries and serving my audience using this specific format and the way that these questions are ordered has given me amazing, amazing results. So as you can see for this specific one, over 400 people have gone through this and I've gotten quite a bit of responses, right? So now I know specifically what my market wants, what their biggest fears are, right? What their ultimate desires are. And I know how to also speak to them when it comes to my marketing message because I get their language pulled straight from here. And the cool thing about the chatbot is that they're just not filling out, you know, some type of form. They are going on this device and they can literally just tap away. Like they were talking to a friend, right? It's super conversational. And it's what allows us to get a really great response rate and really amazing results. So I'm gonna click here in the top right and the little purple where it says respondents, I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a little click and then I, I'm going to pull up the entire data from here. Now, what I want to do instead of, you know, trying to dig through patterns one by one, I want to export this as a CSV file. So I'm going to hit that and then I'm going to click download the CSV. It's going to go ahead and download it and then I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Now, this right here, this whole spreadsheet is what will then pop up okay as we have pulled it here and then we have so many responses available now what i want to do is all these columns are based on the questions that i asked right so what i want to do is i'm going to use just this one what is your number one fear you want to avoid at all cost so i'm going to copy the entire column and then i'm going to go to word counter okay you're just gonna go to google type in a word counter this specifically is wordcounter.net and then i'm going to paste the entire column here because it's going to allow me to find the exact words and the patterns so i can actually deliver what it is that my market is telling me to give them right we never just want to guess this is every decision i make in my business is driven by the data and this is one example of how I derived that data, right? So I go ahead and paste that thing 
Now I'm gonna scroll all the way up. And what we have here where it says density, keyword density, here on the right, we have wasting money as, I mean, <laughs> sorry, wasting time as the number one, second one is losing money. So guess what my market wants to avoid? They want to avoid wasting time when it comes to, you know, dealing with chatbots. They want to not lose any money when they're dealing with this type of stuff. So if I'm talking to somebody and I'm letting them, hey, you know, these strategies, they won't waste your time and you won't lose any money when it comes to building a chatbot that's actually gonna generate leads and sales for your business. Guess what? Now that message is a little bit more attractive, right? To a market because I've been able to pull this information directly from them. They are telling me exactly what it is that they want. So make data-driven decisions in your business and by using this automation, mixing with the chat bots, you're able to just literally gather this entire thing. So guys, if you want to go ahead and get this customer research chat bot, which by the way has been updated and uh, I've been able to craft it so that you can use it across any business model, you can go ahead and get it from the description um, and then it'll just take you once again to a flow where you can go and get it for yourself. Once again, guys, this is Luis Alvarado and I'll catch you on the next one.